What are your reflections now, Tia, after the World Cup? How are you feeling about it all? Have you managed to get back to a bit of reality or are you still on cloud nine? No, but I, I, it's for me, going back home, um, like it's the same as when we were in Japan, you know. We were happy, we won, but we knew, like, we just wanted to get back home as soon as possible. And like now, when we went after the World Cup, bro, I, I, if you're not from South Africa, you'll never understand what, I, I don't fully understand what it means. When we went back, bro, I, I, I could not believe, like, when we came out of the airport, uh, in 2019 it was big, but this time, ridiculous. Like, it was why, so special. Why this time? What, why? Because it, it did feel this like This was that. for and them. This, Coach Rossi and the group and the coaching staff said, we have done it for ourselves. We have won it in 2019 when people didn't expect us to win it. And now, this time, we said this is for the people of South Africa. This is not about us. This is not about we want to win it uh, for them because our country, like you, you know, like there's no electricity half of the time. You know, there's low shedding. People are depressed. There's no food. People are hungry, and and like sometimes I think a lot of people sitting there, they're hopeless. But like they they losing hope, and we want we don't want that to happen. Once people lose hope, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, and people that come from similar background as us. And that's my role now. Is for me to be that person that creates those kind of opportunities. For me to make sure that the kid that's living in the, in, in the same um, background as me doesn't suffer as much as I suffered when I was young. Small people that were told that they're not big enough, they're not strong enough, they can't play, they're too small. And Ches and Kobe said, I'm gonna win the World Cup twice. Peter Steph coming from a farm, rugby family as well. The way he's just shown that the boys in the farm areas that it's possible, you know, you, know, you can make it. So, all of us have different stories and I think we all represent South Africa and we wanted those stories to come out and we wanted our stories to inspire others who have the same stories as us to be able to, to know that it's possible no matter how the situations look right now. Do you chat to anyone higher up in government in no, South Africa? Do they no. chat to you? Do they lean on you? Because no, you saw, no, you saw no. What, it did. I don't, what, what else in South Africa is this here that people can hang their hat on? <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't speak to... I mean, we, we stick to... We play, I mean, we, we just play rugby and do what we do. And it's, it's honestly, it's not just, uh, it's, it's the whole team, bro. It, honestly, I, without my teammates and Coach Rassi, like, um, like people don't don't speak enough about him and they don't get him. And like, we, we get him. We understand what he, like for me, I'll talk about me. I'll leave the other guys. He was the first guy who gave me a contract. I was signed to another team. He got me a lawyer, he got me out of my contract because I signed underage without my parents there. Then I went to the to, to Western province. I, when I was young, I like I, I drank a lot. I, I was like a, a young boy who was just living wild as if I was not going to sign with them. And I was just naughty and he, there's so many opportunities he could have given up on me where I came to training uh, a drunk, I came to training late or, or something had happened, like probably six times. I remember his last talk with me before he went to Munster. He sat me down, me and my and my and one of my best friends, Kara, he plays for the Stormers, he just played his 100th game against uh, uh, against uh, the Sharks. He, he says, like, listen boys, you have a talent that can change your, your, the, your life and your family's life and many other people. It's either you're going to stuff it up or you're going to actually realise that, okay, and take this seriously and then he left. That's his last memory. Came back, Coach Spring made me captain when he came back. And I was like, don't you remember our last uh, conversation, you know? And he he just backed me from the beginning. He backed me and he even making me captain. He um, always kept me accountable and he always, like he knew I was, he knows the type of person I am. He made a system that would make work. He put other people in, in, in leadership roles so that I didn't have to take everything upon me. He started like he started talking about the country, like how things were in the past, how transformation is important, and he's gonna. We'll, we'll, we have to win. We have to transform. We have to create squad depth. He started speaking about transformation where in the past it was like a, a hidden thing. He's upfront to the players. South Africa. The Springboks were different in the olden days and we we're going to give opportunities to people to try and make this team look like a South African team more diverse, you know. Mm. And he pushed because, I mean, he reminds us sometimes, like, he's like, you don't know. Like, when we complain 
when we, I don't know, when, when, when we like lose mo motivation, he's like, remember what the people are going on in the country. You are the one, like the one percent. Mm. You're doing what you love. Yes, you were, you went through that. Don't forget where you come from. And don't forget what, like he knows me. He always tells me like, listen, think about that boy, the young seer that's out there. Think about him when you want to give up, you know, when you want to. And he's always accountable when I get big headed, like, he calls it out too. And my teammates too, which is great. That's what's great about our team, that if you become too big, like in your head, they, hey, hey, like come who, back. Who, who goes big in the head? And I do sometimes too. I <laughs> yeah, do sometimes of course, too. And then my, you, you have moments where you think you've arrived, if you've done, have a good game, or you've done something great, or you've met like a famous person that recognized, then you feel super cool. And then like my mate even, we're like, hey, come back down, come back down. And the team is, and that's been good. That's why, like when guys get subbed, mm. I get subbed at, 40, at 45 minutes sometimes. Mm. And I know why. I know why, because I'm not as effective as I am. And then Kwaka and them come in, they change it, they win the game, you know. And I'm comfortable with, doesn't mean I like it, but I'm comfortable enough to know that the team is more important. I think that's what set the, that was the difference between us and, and most teams, where some players will be, pissed off like they've kept it or even get subbed early you know and and you know and yeah we've had hard, hard conversations as a group uh, that's what I really enjoy when we have honest and, 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 and serious conversation nobody like you, you don't take it to hard you get hurt but you don't take it to hard you move on the next day